Imagine a scenario where an evil super genius finds a way to suck all the oxygen out of the air, then burns it into the ground. Sounds like the stuff from comic books, right? But did you know, scientists are actually working on a way to do just that, but with carbon dioxide. Why capture carbon dioxide from the air? To stop global warming, of course. Carbon sequestration. In understanding words, carbon separation is the process of capturing and storing atmospheric carbon dioxide. This process is separated in two, which is geologically and biologically. For instance, biological carbon sequestration refers to the storage of carbon dioxide in vegetation, such as forests as well as soils and the ocean. Carbon dioxide works in both ways in the ocean. When the gas is released into the ocean, it creates a positive atmospheric flux. A negative atmospheric flux is when carbon dioxide is being absorbed by the ocean. Think of these fluxes as inhalation and exhalation where the gas goes in both ways. Although carbon sequestration may cost a lot of money and work, there is in fact a natural alternative for that. Say hello to algae sequestration. Yes, you heard me, algae. Algae is a type of aquatic plant similar to seaweed. Now, why choose algae and not trees? Trees and algae both sequester carbon dioxide naturally. Trees consume it as a part of their photosynthesis process and releases oxygen back into the air. Algae replicates the same process but absorbs carbon dioxide in the form of more algae. Algae can absorb more carbon dioxide than trees because it can cover more surface area, grow faster, and can be easily controlled by bioreactors. Worried about overgrowth of algae? No worries, because these algae can be dehydrated and turned into fuel or biomass to the extraction of fatty acids in biomolecules known as lipids. Guys, we almost forgot about pollution. As pollution are mainly caused by industries, thanks to science, we can tackle the impact electrostatic precipitator. This mechanism uses static electrical charges to remove impurities from soot and, of course, ash from exhaust fumes before they exit the smokestacks and particularly remove harmful matters such as carbon monoxide at industrial facilities and power generating stations. So, how does this mechanism work? The electrodes of a chamber are known as ionization chamber are electrically grounded and connected to the positive polarity of the high voltage power supply. And why is it? It's for deeper ionization of course. So when particles flow through this chamber, they pick up negative charges and are attracted to the collecting plates. Then these collecting plates are knocked to remove these toxic particles and is automatically disposed. The waste gases without impurities are then released to the atmosphere. Thanks to the existence of this type of technologies, respiratory diseases such as asthma and bronchitis can be prevented rapidly. Thank you, science.